So we wanted to look at the relationship between blacks and Latinos in South Central LA and Esperanza Community Housing, which is producing the festival, is a low-income housing provider, but also uses arts and culture as a, as a way for policy to perform. Well, I know the event is focused on uh, centering the experiences of black and brown, black and Latino folks. Um, and I'm actually black and Mexican, so, um, you know, I felt like it was a perfect uh, mesh for me to come here and seeing that, you know, my community is being represented, so here to show up for my community, create some art. So we're trying to get like a wide spectrum of arts and culture and have it being encouraged to be very interactive and immersive so people come in and do something rather than just come and look at art. So you come in and draw, you come and do your silk screening, you can come in and do um, your painting, uh, you can come in and take, take away plants. You know, just like an everyday walk through the park, listen to music, eat some great food, and you know, have some great, participate in some great art making. Well, the artwork is amazing. The colors are really inspiring, and people doing artwork like in right right here. It's really beautiful. Definitely a great vibe here. For you know my community as a Black Latino, I think it shows that there's a representation, and you know we're visible as a community here. We're often you're kind of either one or the other. So as a black Latino, it's important you know, to kind of show up here and be with other Afro-Latinos as well uh, in community and also just finding community as well, I think is super important. We're still in our pilot phase. We're still figuring out what we're doing because no one's really doing anything like this to focus on black and Latino culture together. So we're trying to take the lead on that, trying to set some models to like, how do you do this kind of work? Yeah.